So, <laughs> um, I didn't have any intention on sharing this, but um, because of how it started and how it ended, I'm like, uh, so, okay. And th this is Tarot, so just so you know, so click off if you're, you know on here watching as a hater <laughs> um because i just do me i'm open and honest and i just do me i'm not trying to do anything for anyone my channel is uh my journey with god so <clears throat> if you want to view feel free if not click off <laughs> click off um so the first two that came out, okay, and I shuffled a bunch like this, and then like that, okay. These both flew out together, just like that. Oh, you can't even see. I don't, I don't want to show my face because I've been like crying. I'm like puffy, puffy McPufferston. Okay. So. The Emperor and the Empress. Okay, th these are <laughs> the first two cards. These are the, I can't even talk. These are the first two cards that came out together. Okay, face up. I believe, I don't know if the, em I think the Empress was on top. Yab yum. <clears throat> Yab yummy. So there we go. <clears throat> Three, four. Empress, Emperor. Okay, together. First flip out. Okay, for those two cards. It's very interesting because I'm watching something. He's talking about Omega, which reminded me of my dream where the lady at the counter was <clears throat> tapping on a piece of paper showing me something. And I... I read it and I'm like, you know how you're like sitting in a waiting room and there's like come up to the counter and okay. <clears throat> and I read it and I'm like, yeah, Alpha Omega. Yeah, I know. I've learned that. that okay, so far. So yeah. What, and, and she tapped on it again like, and it said the Gem Oracle. I don't know if it said Gem Oracle cards or deck, but I know it said the Gem Oracle. Okay. Gem Oracle is, is a, a deck that I have. I, it was the first deck I got, actually. Um, so. Uh, okay, so. Okay, so those came out. They f flipped out and landed here, right here, on the uh, stove right here. Okay. So, come on, I'm not trying to have, like, 40 style, like, um, who's that piano player? who dated his cousin or some whatever. <laughs> okay, so... And it's very interesting because uh, the chunk that it, that was in my hand, one of them, Capricorn, or Capricorn. I always say that because it's... Okay, the double card, and that did come out. And it showed itself a couple times, but right when this flipped out, that was on the bottom of one of the chunks in my hand. So, Cancer, Capricorn, this is the Chariot card. This represents ascension, okay? Mastering your en energies, your um, your vehicle, your Merkaba, your Merkaba. Okay, so very interesting that Capricorn Cancer showed themselves right after the Emperor and Empress came out together, okay? The golds, right? Yo! Bringing spirit into form. Um... Oh, so this one flipped around in the deck, so it, as I was shuffling, it totally flipped itself around and showed its face to me, so that's, okay. Next one, this flipped out, landed on the computer. Magician. Okay, so, so far, Emperor and Empress come out together. They're getting ready to ascend, bitches, okay? This is maybe me, whatever. And... 
time to make the magic happen. Mm -hmm. Right? Time to get our superpowers. One, four, four. <laughs> okay, so. So already awesome, right? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm going to take you through it and then I shed a couple tears at the end there because, um, yeah. So. This I see as, oh wait. I can't, okay. What, uh can't remember which one came out first, but I, <clears throat> excuse me, I always see this as Gemini. This is sword, so it's air sign, but it's the page, so it's kind of lively, and so I, I kind of see Gemini like that, but that also represents the twins, and these three came out together, so this is Gemini, this is the twins, this is the lover's card, okay, seven of cups, which, you know, how are you going to see things clearly? How, you know, you can see them, um, like, just always uh, <clears throat> take things the wrong way. You know, when someone says something, you always take it, per you always take it the wrong way. And they're like, I didn't mean it like that at all. What? I, so um, that was something I had to work through. I still uh, catch myself doing that in, like, Let's just assume, give, give people the benefit of the doubt and assume the positive, because why not, you know? What's going to hurt? So this could be like seeing things through rose-colored glasses, but with the gem, with the, um, this is like the Watcher card, and I get this a lot ever since, before I even really realized why I was getting it so much. So this is like the Watcher, the Watchman. Um, the Knave of Swords is the Watchman. So he has sensitive information. He can use it to blackmail his enemies. He can use it to, you know, help his allies. So, um, and Gemini is very much like black, white. Okay. Like the twins. Okay. So so what I got was to see things from the love side of things, not the fear side, okay? The light side, not the dark side. So with Gemini there and the lover's card and the seven of cups and then the queen of cups, which is like, you know, the woman who's embodies love, okay? But the holy grail, the love of God that's constantly overflowing. So... I just got like Adam Sandler, um, is it Little Nicky when he's like, accept the good, accept the good. Is that how he's, is that the, how the line goes? <laughs> I know that was a bad impression, but I mean, I, I think he says accept the good, right? Release the, no, accept the good. I think, whatever. Okay, so, as I'm, um... realizing that I have the Knave of Swords down here and how it relates to the Lover's card. I'm like, oh, that relates to the Lover's card because Gemini and and the Lover's is a twin. And then this flies out. Two of Cups. Because my hair looks a little lighter. I, I dyed it pink and it's like, it just kind of looks um, copper. <laughs> Which goes well with everything, right? Um copper skin cut everything <laughs> so there's the two of cups there's like the love okay union there's union you mm, I and <laughs> you and I it's on <laughs> so I think this came out next star card okay that's the Holy Spirit guiding you and that's an eight. We have two other eights. Three other eights. Major Arcana eight. And this reduces to an eight. This is also Major Arcana. So when we started out, we had all four were Major Arcana to start out the reading. So I was like, whoa, those are powerful energies. Emperor, Empress. Uh, then the Chariot. Then the Magician. So it's like Twin Flames. Ascension. Getting our, you know, all our gifts. All our promises. Um, 
Yeah, so this letting the Holy Spirit guide you, letting the Spirit guide you right now. And just staying strong in the Spirit. Embodying, maintaining that love vibration. Knowing your um, nobility, too. And so, I think when one of those, I think when that flipped out or something, Ace of Wands was at the bottom, and then Ace of Pentacles was at the top. Um, but I didn't pull them, but I'm like, well, if they're important, they'll come back up. And so, um, the Ace of Pentacles indeed did come out, and it came out together with the Ten of Pentacles. So, that's really good. It's like culmination, legacy, passing it on to the next generation. This is like a brand new beginning. This is culmination, brand new beginning. Okay. So God's world's beautiful, yeah? And things need to be made new again. Okay, this... I see this as like the golden seed of God. And see, she's very like pregnant with, you know, about to give birth to something very beautiful and of God. See, it's like the golden sun above her head and she's just bringing down God's energy through, you know, whatever it is, gardening, having a child. Um, she, oh, that's not the Queen of Wands, but the she looks very much like the Queen of Wands, but the Queen of Wands is very generous. Uh, she's very abundant. She's very generous. She's very loyal, but I see the, um, I see that in this card too because she's very much looks the same, same position kind of and everything. So just very abundant, right? Ten of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles. Brand new beginning, abundance, just um, lots of potential and it's, and it's really good stuff coming in because we have the Justice card too. With the Seven of Pentacles, that's like harvesting your, you know, what you put out there is what you're getting back. And it's, and it's time to reap that. Reap those rewards. In my case, I hope a lot of others too. I keep praying. Um, yeah, and the Six of Swords wanted to keep coming out and I think... Yeah, it flipped out with the devil card, okay, which is this, um, it's like the dark aspect of the lover's card. It's like you taking a look at um, things that get out of balance. So even love can get out of balance. It can bind you, okay, become an addiction. Um, so this is just always taking a peek in that dark closet, making sure there's no spiders making nests in there, <laughs> right? Get your green emerald flashlight out. And <laughs> um, always go to God. I do that all day, constantly, every day, going to God on everything. So um, the Six of Swords, this is mentally, we're moving away from this now. We did a lot of this work. I feel like I have healing and, you know, facing your demons. That's what the devil card's all about, facing your demons so you can take your power back and that, that darkness doesn't have any hold. If you keep things secret and in the dark, then they have a hold on you. That's why I, I believe testifying is so important because it's really liberating and it it brings us to the same level of humanity, you know, that we've all sinned, we've all, um, every day we make mistakes, right, so, um, but we're moving away from being afraid of our, um, fleshly nature, the desire of the flesh, right, so we're moving away from fearing that and being ashamed of that and holding resentment resentment towards others for things that maybe we feel that were done to us unjustly, unjustly because of maybe someone else's desire of their flesh, right? So we're moving away from all of that because we have this coming in. We're being led by the Holy Spirit, that star card. So we're being guided by a higher 
our higher self. That star card is also your higher self. So we're, we're calling in this. We're asking God for this. We're, we're done with this. We're moving away from the healing and facing all our demons and um, waking up to how the world is. It's a, that's like <clears throat> the devil card can be, <clears throat> excuse me, be the awakening card, okay? So good things are coming in because uh, for those of you who have been letting the spirit guide you, your higher self, the Holy Ghost, Ruach HaKodesh, then you're going to have good things coming in with this Justice card. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. And it's right now because it's harvest time. It's ripe and ready. Um, and a lot of that had to do... So here's... We had four eights. Is that what I said? Yeah, so... This reconfirms the walking away because this is the emotional walking away like the Six of Swords. That would be a mental thing. Now this is the emotional thing. And mental things are connected to our emotions, right? So Eight of Swords is this um, abandonment, imprisonment, okay? How we isolate ourselves and imprison ourselves or, or we blame others for them abandoning us. So <clears throat> either way, it's push or pull. It's the same essence, the same energy. It's just if you push it onto someone else and blame, then it's abandonment. And if you pull it and withdraw and constrict, then it's isolation and imprisonment. Okay. But it's of the mind. Okay. But it, um, it affects our emotions. So this is just telling me that we're walking away from all this ab abandonment stuff because we know we're not alone. Okay. This is like old, old, old abandonment stuff that's like, no, 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 God's here, always been here, never was not here since the beginning of every, since your first second of existence, right? So we're, we've are we moved, we've graduated past um, loneliness, okay, and the, the self-pity and victimhood, martyrdom that's associated with that. Okay, now I said, just to wrap it up. <clears throat> Um, I gotta go, like, I have nothing in my hair. I just washed it, so it's just, like, doing its little poofy. Wow, it really got light. I'm gonna have to, like, do some little blonde streaks and make it look a little, uh, not like a old man with all gray hair who dyed his hair red or something. Because <laughs> I had, like, dark brown hair, but now it's, like, look how light it is. It was supposed to be pink, like, this frosty pink, but it's, like, copper. Go, it figures, though, right? It would be, yeah. Anyway, um, I'm just having fun. So, I used up some hair dye that I had. Uh, so this is the one I shed a couple tears over. I said, now God, please tell me. Because when this first came out, I'm like, oh my God, this is some twin flame shit. With the emperor and empress, I'm like, oh my God, this is twin flame. Just, I know the rest of the card. And the lover's card came out. The two of cups. The, okay. And the, uh. So I said, and, and I'm not even surprised anymore. I just get emotional because I just feel the love because I God is listening. And my my team of angels, my, my guides, you know, they're always helping. So... I just said, God, who's it for? I, I kind of already know, but just give me confirmation and make it obvious, like the hermit card, if it's him because he's a Virgo. <laughs> so I had just like a three second, like, crash landing little, tittle biddle of a meltdown. <sighs> Because I just felt like, okay, I'm just, I'm just not done. Okay, one more. Let's just, who's it for, God, please? I, I know, but, uh, so anyway, God was telling me that this was all about me, my twin flame. So this is a twin flame reading, so I'm going to put twin flame in the title. Um, because I believe... 
this pertains to more than just myself and, and my twin flame. So, um, God is just so awe-inspiring that even though I'm so used to, like, especially with the cards, the magic, I'm used, I should be used to that by now, but it's just, God amazes me all the time. All throughout the day, every day, there's something, and and it, and it can just be the simplest thing, and it could be something that I've already experienced a million times, but it's just because God is so right here, right now, that that's what's so amazing, because uh, God in real time, right? Our God is such an awesome God. He's the God of real time. He's right here, right now with us. Having that dialogue back and forth, just as if you're sitting with your girlfriend or whatever, your husband having a cup of coffee. But it, oh, so anyway, I love you, God. I love you so much. Thank, oh, I'm just, I'm so grateful for everything. The clarity, right? To lessen confusion and stuff. That is like one of the greatest gifts that God has graced us with. Is because confusion can cause so much mayhem. I mean, the some of the most heinous, disgusting, satanic crimes against humanity, children, come from confusion, not knowing God, not knowing the truth. So, release your fear. Surrender to your creator. And know Jesus is real. Isho, the I show, right? He's the show bread, the shoe bread. He's the one who shows up. He showed up for God to represent. And um, he died for us. So I think the least we can do is sacrifice things that are going to improve us. Like, you know. Things we know we shouldn't be doing. You know, it's one thing you're struggling a little bit with, you know, eating meat or different things, you know, a little bit unhealthy. But there are certain things that you just really should not be doing at all. And I'm not judging anyone. I'm just saying you will leave. You, it will bring um, like that a devil card addiction, a, a, those addictive demons into your home. Um, you know, pharmaceutical drugs, uh, pornography, TV alone, <laughs> like, is horrible, right? Um, I'm just saying from my personal, it's different for everybody, whatever your thing is, you know, whatever you're struggling with, but know that God is always there listening. Don't be afraid to, see, man makes us feel ashamed, but we can go to God with anything. No matter what we're struggling with, no matter what it is, nobody else can know, and it's our secret, and we're so ashamed. And, but you can go to God with that, and He won't judge you. Is that's how amazing God is? God is so amazing that He won't judge you. He'll love you. He'll give you clarity on the situation. He'll give you a solution. He'll give you a way out, a way forward. Um, so it's all about faith. We got to trust in the, in that. This is what I have right by my oven all the time. And this little thing popped off, so I gotta bust out my little thing of super glue. And, but there, you know? That's what it's all about. And that <laughs> looks like a little key of David. That's so funny, because I saw that, like, on a video, and I'm like, God, why does that look familiar? Because it's on this thing that <laughs> I look at every day. And it says, walk by faith. On each letter it says something. So on the F it says, walk by faith. All things are possible. I includes God. Trust in God and holds fast. So that's what faith does. When you walk by faith, all things are possible. I, when we say I, that includes God. Yeah, having faith means we trust in God and we hold fast to that, so. 
we may be wavering in our sin, but let us not ever be wavering in our faith. So I love you, brothers and sisters. I don't really care about my hair, but I'm just like trying not to look like, you know, too much 70s dad hair because I've had enough of that style lately. So, <laughs> um, okay, 25 minutes. All right. <clears throat> I love you guys. Peace. Blessings.